Hello viewers, Mary Ann from Revealing Light Tarot. How are we all today? I just want to do a quick look at the week ahead for Trump. I do feel that there are some issues arising this week that will have an impact on him. I feel that the um, there's more going on uh, in relation to the IRS whistleblower than what we currently know. There could be something come forward on that Um either this week or something that we don't know about. I feel that the House uh, has a lot more information uh, than what we currently know about to bring to this impeachment inquiry. I feel that the investigations behind closed doors by the Democratic Party are quite uh, more significant than just Ukraine. Uh, of course, the federal court has uh, now said that Don McGahn must, must testify and that Trump isn't a king. And those employees, past and present, present in the White House are uh, have a right to, to speak and they are beholden to the voters, sorry, the taxpayers of the US. They are not the servants of the president. So that's pretty significant. Um, that could even see Bolton come forward and testify. So let's have a quick look at the week ahead for Trump, um, including why he's spending so much time in the uh, White House residence and why he's not in the Oval Office. I feel that's um, to do both with his health and also uh, the ease of communication where he can perhaps sidestep some of those procedural um I guess, rules that exist when he's in the Oval Office. Um, there could be an element of, I think, high anxiety right now, uh, which could be impacting on his trust of those around him. So let's draw some quick cards around uh, the week ahead for Donald Trump. What do we need to know about the week ahead for Donald Trump? I feel that also he is actually getting... Um, he's he's also seeing clear, enough clear air around a decision to uh, leave. You know, where, where, if the evidence is so um, overwhelming, uh, I think he has an exit strategy. So let's have a look. Um, Trump's week ahead. What do we need to know, Spirit, about Trump's week ahead? Trump's week ahead. What do we need to know about Trump's week ahead? Okay, let's have a look. Well, why why is he in the uh, the White House residence? Not so much in the Oval Office. Uh, this is battle weary. This is also putting up boundaries, as I suggested at the beginning of this reading, and more easily uh, able to sidestep. I do feel he's wheeling and dealing in the in those residences as well. As well, we know he's certainly talking to Fox Fox and Friends, but he's also talking to those uh, senators because he really doesn't want to be. Uh, impeached and removed from office in the Senate. He's challenged by, though, he's challenged by his secrets, but he's also challenged by his mental state because the moon indicates a level of confusion um, around Trump, fatigue and confusion. Anyone who's heard those interviews would, would agree with that. Um, we've got temperance as the foundation of the reading, balance, um, the week ahead, he's trying to balance the scales for himself. He's working hard to do that. But this is also a balance coming forward that might be outside of his grasp because we have the Queen of Swords in the in the in the past position. This is the impeachment card. This is the Democrats in the House. So impeachment is uppermost uh, in Donald Trump's mind. His health is holding him back. This is a retreat card, and this is in the potential future. It's what's crowning this reading. Uh, and this is a retreat and an ill health. So I'm seeing a fatigue level. I'm also seeing confusion. When I tuned in uh, clairvoyantly to this reading, I did see almost like Trump being dressed by someone. Now, I don't mean that literally, uh, that, you know, uh, someone is helping him dress. I'm suggesting he's receiving quite a lot of help at this stage. We've got the truth, the page of um, swords. He's concerned. There is a level of confusion and paranoia around spies in the camp. He's concerned about whistleblowers. Um, <clears throat> he's also, as I said, wheeling and dealing. This can also um, indicate some OCD, OC, uh, uh, obsessive compulsive disorder around, some OCD, around uh, his anxiety and paranoia. 
uh, because it's sitting right underneath the page of swords and this ill health card um, <clears throat> defending himself. So this is what's on his mind. This is a bigger picture. Um, this is what's consuming, and I think that's a good word, consuming Trump, because there's so much of it. Uh, wherever you look, uh, there's more, and it's more than his ability to put to put the fires out. Uh, it's overwhelming uh, for him. Um, this three of uh, wands keeps coming up uh, again and again for Trump, uh, the commerce and expansion. So in a way, this is Ukraine, what was occurring in Ukraine, but there's more to it. Is Giuliani going to be indicted? Um, what sort of deals, what sort of benefits uh, have has, has the Trump family gained from that office? Because here we have the Ten of Pentacles, which is the Trump organisation, uh, and we've got decisions needing to be made. So <clears throat> I feel also, as I um, suggested at the beginning of this reading, the air is becoming clearer for Trump around whether he should leave or whether he should go. He is reviewing uh, reviewing his decision-making, whether or not to uh, to stay. And it, there will be a tipping point that will occur that, uh, that um, prompts him to go. We've got the death card. That's the ending of something. We've got the page of wands. This is still only a page. So, um, again, this could be a communication of some sort. It could be another whistleblower. But I do feel this is the um, – he's considering when he needs to end this uh, this presidency because we've got the three of, um, the three of swords there, uh, loss, and we've got the hierophant, which is um, the courts, the Supreme Court. So is he is he considering um, around his tax returns? How's he feeling? Because I feel that's where this is this is at, uh, and also that IRS whistleblower. There's some sort of communication there that the House may already know about. We've got Lev Parnes, Iger Fruman. Uh, Lev Parnas at least ha handing audio of Trump, Giuliani, Giuliani and himself to the House. Um, uh, so hmm, communications is is what he's he's most frightened of. Uh, tell me about this death card, please. Tell me what what's that death card endings? Some sort of communication that could be the end for him, showing uh, showing exactly what he's been doing as the magician here. Um, with with the government as well. Um, tell me about the death card. Tell me about this death card. Yeah, uh, this is the three of cups. This is uh, uh, circles of support. This is this is more than one person involved here, um, and celebrations as well. Uh, I feel that somebody could well Giuliani, Trump, Parnas, uh, and you know this could be the communications that Parnas is handing over. Uh, yeah, the Knight of uh, Pentacles, um, you know, the, the, the reward for effort, um, uh, somebody taking action on behalf of Trump to do with money. And we've got the uh, obstacles and challenges. The uh, We've got a lot of fives here coming forward here. Fives are very difficult in the tarot. There, it doesn't matter which suit you uh, look at the difficult cards, five of swords, five of wands, five of pentacles. Um, <clears throat> they're difficult cards. <clears throat> and the fives are all about change. So we've got the fight to keep his uh, tax returns. Um, this is also uppermost in his mind. I want to look at this three of, um, three of wands. It keeps coming forward, viewers, doesn't it? In relation to Trump, tell me about this three of wands, three of wands, tell me about this three of wands, um, creative solutions, creative ways uh, to expand one's, um, I guess, commercial base, uh, commerce and trade, three of wands, why is this continuing to come up? And in relation to also Ukraine, but not just holding back money, some, there's something else there. It's in relation to the uh, Ten of Pentacles, Trump's own personal wealth. Tell me about the three of, three of wands, three of wands. Okay, so we've got something that will be a, another five, a huge loss for Trump. It is going back to the past. 
uh, and and it could actually cause him to lose uh, to walk away. That's that's the eight of cups. That is loss, turning your back on something which is no longer working for you. So that three of wands could be the way that he's conducted in this presidency. Um, you know, self benefit. There's so many examples of the benefit for Trump. Um, he could be thinking uh, about uh, moving on from that. Um, so let's have a look because really uh, so much so much evidence there. Um, he's a bit like this. All right, so let's have a look, viewers. Let's have a look at the IRS whistleblower. Let's have a look at that. Because I do feel the house has been quite closed lit about that. We don't know too much about what that IRS whistleblower has to say. When I've had a look at it myself personally, <clears throat> through the cards, you know, just when I'll throw a card here and there in the evening, what I seem to pick up is that there uh, could have been a movement of something uh, involving um, these th uh, three people, uh, including perhaps possibly Mnuchin. Um, <coughs> and the whistleblower has overheard or has some sort of communication because I get the Six of Swords uh, in relation to that IRS whistleblower. Let's have a look at that um, IRS whistleblower. What, what does the IRS whistleblower know? Uh, in relation to anomalies uh, around Trump's auditing, moving something, I feel, moving something from A to B, um, stopping progress as well is another possibility. What does the IRS whistleblower have to tell? What story? What does the IRS whistleblower know? Tell me about what the IRS whistleblower knows. Okay, so we've got... Uh, compromise uh, decisions to be made as the foundation of the reading. This person has a blindfold on, it's telling me that decisions uh, aren't easily uh, made. We've got the lover's card. Um, okay, so decisions being compromised in relation to Trump's, uh, Trump's business. Um, let's have a look here. The foundation of the reading is the King of Wands. I feel that the House lawmakers already know, the Democrats, the House, the ways and means. There's a lot more that the Democratic Party know. There's a lot more evidence that has been gathered um, than what they're actually currently um, telling us, obviously. Um, the Nine of Cups, the um, wish fulfillment, but it's also uh, the Merchant Card, um, used to come up a lot for Trump uh, prior to 2017 for me. Um, <clears throat> we've got retreat, pulling something back around Trump's uh, Trump's um, tax returns, secrets. Okay, keeping secrets around uh, his tax returns. This is a um, this is an interference. Uh, it's an interference in his tax returns, where the money has come from. That's the fear uh, and how it was made. Um, so, of course, we've got money laundering by the, you know, the, here is Trump, the businessman, the king of pentacles, how he made his money. And it really is um, going to be between his tax returns and what has occurred with the uh, IRS and the audit of his tax returns. Uh, it will be spell the ending of his um, his presidency, trying to hang on to information, stop information coming out. Uh, we've got the ace of uh, wands, new starts, uh, a project, a plan, trying to hold back information, a plan. And we've got um, this obstacles and challenges, another five, putting obstacles and challenges in the way. Um, we've got the chariot, something coming forward very quickly, around uh, around Trump's um, Trump's tax returns. Is this the Supreme Court? This is really a game set and match, I feel, um, is, is when all of this comes to light. And there's one thing about the truth. So often the Ace of Swords is coming up for Trump. Uh, you, you, the truth inevitably emerges. Tell me about this Ace of Pentacles and the Chariot. Maybe trying to stop, slow down the speed of the audit in some way. Um, again, obstruction is something that Trump does as a strategy. 
tell me about this Ace of Pentacles, Spirit. Tell me about this Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, there is a communication that the whistleblower has overheard in relation to Trump's uh, Trump's tax returns. Uh, this whistleblower has um, either seen something, heard something, um, or read something uh, that will incriminate Trump. I think it is slowing down the returns, um, and there is a loss here. Um, so um, one last question before we go. Let's have a look. Is uh, Giuliani likely getting close to being indicted? My feeling is that he's a lot more anxious than what he's letting on. Um, the Wall Street Journal is now reporting that um, Giuliani's uh, information has been subpoenaed uh, from Rudy Giuliani in relation to the um, SDNY investigation of campaign uh, violations. Um, money laundering, um, they're quite significant matters. Parnes is, at, you know, as I said, offering to turn... Um, to turn tapes, audio um, over and communications over to the house. Um, I think the dots are being joined and there's just too much uh, for Trump to hold it back. So I do feel he's coming to a decision about what he should do and how he should proceed. Um, let's have a look at whether Giuliani will be indicted. Quite incredibly, he said uh, Trump would never turn on him, but if he did, he has an insurance clause, which is saying he has dirt on the President of the United States. Okay, so let's have a look at Giuliani. Will he be indicted in the near future? May, may not be today or this week, but in the near future, will Rudy, Rudy Giuliani be indicted by SDNY? Will Rudy Giuliani be indicted? All the President's men... Okay, so there's loss, uh, loss there for Giuliani, uh, challenged by the hangman. Um, so loss challenged by things not moving forward for him. We've got, again, more loss, uh, wounded in battle. Um, we've got the tower. Of course we know the tower is there for Giuliani. In the, the sky, we've got an offer put to him. That is an indi indication that Giuliani might turn on this president. Um, immediate future, there's something to do with money and Giuliani. And, of course, wherever Giuliani is, is and money are concerned, obviously there could be some kind of representation there for Trump. Um, this goes to that three of wands that keeps appearing. Um, uh, we've got the ten of cups, um, so that is a win, I think, for the American voter. We've also got uh, the Empress card, strong evidence, but also a, a link with Russia as well. Russian money is what I'm seeing here. Russian involvement is what I'm seeing here. And the money trail is the fear. And I don't feel this is just for Giuliani. This is also for Trump. I do believe Giuliani might end up cooperating with the House uh, impeachment inquiry. Um, he's reviewing his position right now. This could also be <clears throat> uh, the truth coming out, uh, the objective truth. He's reviewing uh, his options at the moment, and there could also he could also turn whistleblower in some way, uh, flip on Trump as his insurance clause. We've got the um, the full uh, new starts. We've got a lot of evidence coming forward. Uh, I feel this is Giuliani being the fool. Uh, there's a lot of evidence there, and it's going to come forward quite strongly and quickly. We've got his downfall, and we've got uh, temperance, uh, rebalance, and uh, December, December, uh, December time frame. So, yes, I do feel that he, as the uh, we keep going through um, into December, uh, I think you could see a, a, an indictment for Giuliani, but I do feel that there is going to be, he's going to share something. And I do feel that he ultimately could be with the House Impeachment Inquiry. Um, okay. Um, what else do we need to know? Of course, Devin Nunes um, over in Ukraine in 2018 as he was uh, the minority leader on Adam Schiff's committee during the impeachment inquiry, uh, threatened to sue CNN and um, the Daily Beast. Um, I think it was in relation to this story, but will we ever see it get to court? Um, because Nunes is the, um, I guess, the the man of the moment, the villain of the moment, um, 
not to make light of this, but I think a lot of people would like to see Nunez brought to justice. He has been undermining uh, the rule of justice for quite some time, including um, in the initial um, investigation of Russian interference. Um, so in the election, let's have a look. It's Nunez. He's facing, I think, going to face a house, house ethics inquiry. Will Nunez be brought to justice? Will Nunez? Yes, I'm hearing he will. Will Nunez? face justice in some way. Devon Nunez, what do we need to know about him? Will he face justice? Okay, so there <laughs> he's a willing uh, a willing um a willing hand, isn't he? Uh this is reward for effort. Um something around money as well. And a plan that matures in time. This is the Ukra the trip to Ukraine. Uh there's also there's also something else. It could even be around campaign uh, campaign donations. He will have to defend himself with this seven of um, seven of uh, uh, wands. We've got downfall for him in the past, so an ending. Um, yeah. Okay. okay. Let's keep going. Uh, relationships, partnerships. Who he's a collaborator. And we've got this world card. He's going to be drawn right into this. Uh, right now, we've got the hanged man for Nunez. The hanged man often comes forward before an ending. Um, and we've got uh, review and investigation. This is the ethics investigation. He fears the Democrats in the House. Uh, and we've got the chariot. Uh, yes, this is a yes card. He is going to face justice. It's not that far away either with that chariot card. The king of wands. He could even be, be in some way there's a court matter here. And we've got strength and endurance. So it's unlikely he's going to go forward with his suit. Um, it means that all sorts of evidence would have to be um, brought forward in the courts. This is more the lawmakers holding him to account. But I feel it's not going to be that far away. We've got the Knight of Cups um, an offer, uh, but this is also uh, something being done uh, fairly quickly. Um, uh, perhaps his trip, his support of Trump, um, and we've got he's going to be judged for that. Um, and we've got uh, the six here, the six of wands. This is around Trump's victory. I do feel going back to the Russia, Russia uh, investigation. There's more to come. Eric Swalwell has come out and uh, talked about some uh, anomalies, some withholding of evidence around the Russia investigation. Uh, justice is coming. Justice is coming for uh, uh, Devin Nunes. Um, you've got, this is more than Eric, Eric Swalwell. There are others that are actually going to come out and talk about uh, Nunes and what he's done. Um, so I do feel, yes, the answer to that. Uh, he is um, on everybody's, um, well, n not on their favourite list at the moment, Nunes. Um, he's quite... Uh, Quite, and rightly so, because he's been, um, it looks like he's been um, subverting justice there. Um, okay, so he's likely to face justice not, not too far away. Uh, we could even see something or come forward. Maybe he'll stand down uh, on that uh, as the minority leader on the impeachment inquiry. Maybe he will be forced to. There's something coming forward for Nunez quite quite quickly. All right, that's the reading for the week ahead for Donald Trump. Um, you know, all roads do lead to Russia and uh, you can't hold back the truth. Um, and, and there's a lot of truth coming out at the moment. So I'll leave that there, viewers. I hope you have a lovely week. Thank you.